What's up? My name is Julian Williams, and I take Expedite. Some days I walk into the gym, and I don't necessarily feel like working. Take a scoop or two of this, be ready to go. It's the best stuff I've ever had. Expedite. So when are we going to see you back in the States, Jeff? We, we saw you in Las Vegas with, with Crawford. When are we going to see you back? Is that in the future plans at all? I, I guess it's, that's definitely a possibility. We'll see what happens after this fight. That's all I'm doing at the moment is taking each fight as it comes and um, knock over Tim Zoo, And then uh, we might see what options are on the table in the US and the UK and wherever there is in, else in the world. But it's certainly a thing that you want to do, right? You, you want to have another fight back over here again? Yeah, that would be great. Uh, when when coronavirus yeah. takes all <laughs> over there. I could notice that in your voice. You're like, yeah, after this coronavirus yeah. thing. <laughs> Look, I, I, I've always said that I'm, I'm going to be retiring at age 35 in, in my boxing career. So I don't really have long left. And um, I really don't know how long this travel restrictions and things and the coronavirus is kind of, kind of hang around. So it's, it could impact my career, but... Um, hopefully we can nut out another fight maybe towards the end of the year or, or the start of next year. Who do you think would be good to, to fight at uh, 154 if you are uh, victorious over Tim? You know, we, we got champions like uh, <laughs> Jermel Charlo, uh, Jason Rosario that, that surprised everybody. Uh, you have big names still in the division. Kel Brook, I, I believe, is going to be at 154. Uh, there's a lot of good, solid matchups for you here at 154. Yeah, look, I... <sighs> I'm not. I don't. I don't really care who it is, to be honest. I'll. I'll take on any of them. Um, I just. That, that's all I'm doing. Taking each fight as it comes. If a good opportunity comes up and a uh, big name in the US wants to have a fight, I'm there and willing to happen. I'm looking all at that that top that top top line of uh, who's the champion or who's who's got the big name in the US. Who would be? I, I guess, given the current condition you're in a very good position if you win this fight because you could be like, look, yep. we're allowed to have stadium shows with people in Australia. That's a big yep. gate. I'm a big name. You guys can't do that in the U.S. You guys got to come over here. So I could see you enticing a lot of the big name people from the U.S. to go over there for a fight with you. Yeah, I guess that's definitely going to be an advantage on our side. Um, if, if it happens towards the end of this year or the start of next year and um, that we can probably draw draw the the crowds to the fights, and um, it might be the the best thing at this time to be able to go, guys, come over here because there's no one watching your fights in the US at the moment. No, it's very well, true. I, I, in, I would well in, in person. Life. I know what you meant. Yeah, <laughs> in person. <laughs> I would love to see uh, you and Charlo or, or you and Rosario. I, I think those two fights, given their styles as well, would be a very very entertaining fight. Yeah, they're, they're the guys that I'm after. Um, they're the ones that I want. So um, hopefully all this goes to plan with this fight with Tim Zhu and uh, you see me with fight with them very soon. Yo, you, yes, you. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.